side. SLU hospital nurses say they presented several proposals and attempted to compromise, but blame SSM for refusing to address staffing shortages and workplace violence. SSM Health released a statement that reads in part, since August 29th, the National Nurses Organizing Committee has declined to respond to our counter proposals on key wage issues. Negotiations can only make progress when both sides are motivated and engaged. It goes on to say patient safety is our top priority and our health ministry is well prepared to remain open and care for our patients during any work stoppage event. We will have a comprehensive contingency plan in place to ensure there is no disruption in care or service. You can read the full statement on our website, KSDK.com. Now to the latest on the United Auto Workers strike. Tonight, workers at the GM plant in Wentzville are wrapping up their 10th straight day on the picket lines. Today, they got a show of support from two well-known members of Congress. Five on your side's Laura Barczewski was there for the Solidarity Rally. Congresswoman Cori Bush helped to kick off another important strike week for United Auto Workers Local 2250 in Wentzville on Sunday. I'm fired up, can't take it no more. Saying she wants to invest more than a million dollars in St. Louis Auto Workers to create a new automotive repair training center in St. Louis with the PRO Act. That is estimated to have a direct uh, uh, annual economic impact of $4.2 million right to the region. She was joined by Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who also pledged her support. We need to remind people that the average worker in this country has to work for 400 years to make what these folks pay themselves in one. UAW officials say this support is encouraging, along with recent progress in negotiations. We didn't impact Ford anymore with additional strikes because they're starting to put their best foot forward. They're starting to you know, come to the table with some real proposals. Union officials tell me that negotiations with General Motors and Stellantis are moving extremely slow, which means they're going to continue to turn up the heat on this strike until there are better offers on the table. Every parts distribution center in the General Motors and Stellantis system is on strike this week. UAW workers on strike get $500 per week. <laughs> Local 2250 President Katie Dethridge says the community has really come together for the workers stocking food pantries, holding diaper drives and more. We have many means to reach out and get the services that they need to help them with their electric bills, with their, um, we have some that will help with their rent to get them through. We're, we're encouraging them to stand strong and that we have their back 100% through this. Reporting in Wentzville, Laura Barczewski, 5 on your side.